Bonjour! It is now time for another manga review with me, Boavo Bunny. And today we are going to be reviewing Mars by Fuyumi Soryu. At least that's how I think you pronounce her name. It's my favorite manga of all time ever, and I'm going to show you why. This was the first portrait I drew. The model was a 17-year-old boy. I titled it Mars. Mars signifies two things. One is the planet, the other is a soldier, the god of war. Mars begins very normally, with a girl sitting on a bench drawing. Then someone calls out to her, asking for directions. When she turns around, she finds that it's a boy, a rather attractive one at that. But her response is to very quickly and rather rudely scribble out the directions on a piece of paper, rip it out of her sketchbook, shove it in his face, and run off, leaving him understandably confused. We then skip ahead to the girl going home, whose name we find out is Kira. We also find out that the boy from earlier is actually someone from Kira's school. Someone she knows. Someone that everyone knows. He is a playboy, and Kira claims not to like him very much. Right after this, we see said boy at the hospital he had asked Kira directions to, visiting a friend slash mentor who had been in a terrible motorcycle accident and had lost his leg and is now no longer able to do motorcycle riding. From this interaction, we find out that Ray himself is also a motorcyclist and actually a racer. He also seems to have a weird view on death, which does come in later in the story. As Ray is leaving the hospital, he finds a picture drawn beautifully on the back of the directions of a mother and child. It intrigues him, but he does not realize how significant this picture will become in his life. Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Ray is a playboy. He is the quiet artist. He becomes fascinated with one of her pictures. She is astonished that he has actually noticed her pictures, seeing as how she has no friends, and this is amazing to her, I guess. So the two of them begin to interact and form a very strange sort of relationship. And stuff happens that I won't spoil, but uh, basically, Ray saves Kira, and it starts a very strange relationship between the two of them, and changes both of their lives forever. Also, romance. This manga is not all lovey-dovey stuff, though, because everyone has their own unique past, and it's usually pretty dark, particularly Rei and Kira's. And, but everyone's past is revealed pretty tactfully throughout the manga, never really coming in too soon or too late either. Each new revelation brings you closer to the characters and makes you want to learn more about them. And the situations are not laid on too thick, nor are the people too dramatic or too far-fetched. In fact, they feel as if they could be alive right now, having their own emotions, their own problems, and everything. Of course, their situations are to the extreme, but life is extreme sometimes, and so they are easy to relate to, and even though their situations are most likely much worse than ours, we still feel for them and understand what they're going through, at least to some degree. Now it's time for analyzing! Personally, I think the art in this is absolutely gorgeous. And it, it should be noted that the artist's style does change dramatically throughout the manga. Now it's time for a musical montage, because I don't feel like talking. for wasting time. Well, maybe it's not a dramatic change, but it is very noticeable, and personally, I like the way that the characters seem to grow from the big-eyed, bubbly kids of high school into much more wiser but sadder adults. The plot of Mars reveals itself slowly over time, allowing you to get to know the characters and so that you're really involved and invested in them when certain things happen to them. Um, there is a little bit of comedy here and there, but it's nothing too goofy. 
And that works for Mars, because if there was much more humor, then it would pull away from the dramatic atmosphere of it and feel forced and out of place. But I think what makes Mars my favorite manga ever is got to be the characters, because they're just so interesting and diverse and deep, and they're not perfect. You know, they're tormented, they're, they're rough around the edges, they've got flaws, very obvious ones, and ones that inhibit them, and they have to learn to get, get around them and to, you know, live with them, basically. And that's... Not something you normally see. Usually it's just the cute girl that's like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, look at me, I'm ugly. When really, you know, you're like, you're a size zero. Shut up. And then you've also, then you've got the man who's very, either very quiet and stoic and just like, oh, I'm tormented. But in this one, you really feel their pain. Obviously in other ones, there, there is actual pain, but in this one, it just feels more real and more concrete. And there's something wonderful about that, being able to capture that human pain and being able to express it and show that you can get past it and that you're not alone. And, it, and I think it's a, it's a beautiful love story and shows that relationships are not perfect and that uh, you have to work to, you know, to get through them. The story doesn't end once you get with that person, you know, I mean, that's just the beginning. And that's real life. and. There's something to be said about reality, as much as we try to escape it. You know, reality is what we live in, and we need to learn how to live in it, live in it instead of try continuously trying to escape from it. And I think so that's something that Mars, at least to me, is. It's a, I guess it's a closer look at reality and sort of counting my blessings, basically, and showing that even in the worst of times, there are, there are good things in life. Also, let it be known that this is not a child's manga. It is a young adult's manga because of the mature content from what the characters say, do, and have to go through. Though it is never graphic, it is pretty obvious what's going on, and so I wouldn't recommend this for anyone younger than maybe 14. Also, Masao is my favorite character ever, but I'm not gonna, and I can't explain why. He just is. And people, once you'll read it, are probably gonna be like, why the crap? Do you like him? I don't know. I just do. Mars was published by Tokyo Pop and should be at bookstores, though it may be a little bit harder to find, but it's definitely worth looking into. There are 15 manga altogether, with an extra one called Horse with No Name, which involves a short story that happened before the actual story started, with and also some extra stories written by the same artist, and they're pretty good too. I rather enjoyed them as well. All in all, Mars is beautiful both art-wise, story-wise, character-wise, just about all together. It's just a really great manga. I'm not quite sure if I got that across enough, but uh, it's definitely, I would recommend it to anybody, though definitely an older audience, um, unless you, you know, think like, oh, my 12-year-old sister definitely is into, you know, would understand, uh, rape and violence and murder and stuff like that, I guess. See, I wanted to slip that in there for you. Didn't know, but it's in there. There's also a live action version of this, but I haven't seen it and do really want to, though. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I hope you all go check it out because it's the greatest manga ever. And I will stick to it, and I'll, I'll fight you for it. Show off your light. I live.